Well, good morning to you. I'm John Antonio. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm Cammie Sinnott. And this is the morning show on CTN. Mrs. Ryan is here to lead us in prayers and the pledge. Good morning, everyone, and happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, we're going to do a prayers a little bit differently today. Um, I have some intercessions that I will lead you in. The response is, Lord, hear, my, hear our prayer. And following that, a prayer will come up on the screen uh, for all of us to pray together. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Again, the response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Christ within us, help us to spread the word of love, peace, and justice in the world. Lord, hear our prayer. Christ in our hearts, be with your people as they share the good news of the gospel in places where your word is not known. Lord, hear our prayer. Christ beside us, help us to trust in you when we meet difficulties and sustain us in our journey of faith. Lord, hear our prayer. Christ, who guided Patrick through the struggles of slavery and poverty, be with the Irish people as they face hardships in their everyday life. Lord, hear our prayer. Christ, be the light of our immigrants as they face challenges far away from home. Help them through loneliness and the fear of the unknown. Lord, hear our prayer. Christ, be with our missionaries who are working to bring the gospel to our brothers and sisters in different lands. Be with each of us gathered in your name and help us to be true to the faith that Pat Patrick preached to his ancestors. Lord, hear our prayer. All right, please pray with me. St. Patrick's Breastplate Prayer. May the strength of God guide us. May the power of God preserve us. May the wisdom of God instruct us. May the hand of God protect us. May the way of God direct us. May the shield of God defend us. May the angels of God guard us against the snares of the evil one. May Christ be with us. May Christ be before us. May Christ be in us, Christ be all. May thy grace, Lord, always be ours, this day, O Lord, and forever. Amen. St. Patrick, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Please face your flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. God bless America. And our student pledge, boys and girls, I will act in such a way that I will be proud of myself, and my family will be proud of me too. I came to school to learn, and I will learn something new each day. My actions will reflect concern for others. I will have an awesome day. Have a great day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Thank you, Mrs. Ryan. We'll talk more about St. Patrick's Day in a little bit. But first, let's go outside to Nick and find out what today's the weather looks like. We are nice and warm. Kind of looks like a day in Ireland with all the clouds out here. Are things going to warm up, clear up today?
As we said, today is St. Patrick's Day. Let's go over to Rena, who is going to tell us a little bit more about St. Patrick. Thanks, Cammie. The website Catholic Online reports that Patrick was born around 385 in Scotland, probably Kilpatrick, which means he wasn't actually Irish. A boy of 14 or so, he was captured during a raiding, raiding party and taken to Ireland as a slave to herd and tend sheep. He learned the language and practices of the people who held him. During his captivity, he turned to God in prayer. Patrick's captivity lasted until he was 20, when he escaped after having a dream from God in which he was told to leave Ireland by going to the coast. There he found some sailors who took him back to Britain, where he reunited with his family. He had another dream and soon began his studies to become a priest. Later, Patrick was ordained a bishop and was sent to take the gospel to Ireland. He arrived in Ireland on March 25, 433. He began preaching the gospel throughout Ireland, converting many. He and his disciples preached and converted thousands and began building church all over the country. Kings, their families, and entire kingdoms converted to Christianity when hearing Patrick's message. Patrick preached and converted all of Ireland for 40 years. He worked many miracles and wrote of his love for God in confessions. After years of living in poverty, traveling and enduring much suffering, he died on March 17, 461. So why is the symbol for the holiday a shamrock? Patrick used the shamrock to explain the Trinity, and it has been associate, associated with him and the Irish since that time. Today, St. Patrick's Day is one of the most widely celebrated holidays. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Thanks, Rena. Tomorrow, each class will be randomly assigned a team in the NCAA March Madness Tournament. The class is represented by the winning team at, at the end of the tournament. will win a just down day. Tune in tomorrow to find out which team will be representing your class. Tonight, in NCAA action. Hampton plays Manhattan at 6.40, and VU plays Ole Miss at 9.10. Thanks for joining us on the morning show today. Good luck as the, as the Terra Nova testing continues. Have a great Charger Tuesday.